welcome back everybody um, I've just installed the the software the driver pretty simple um, it more or less finds it itself it's self-explanatory on that side I'm not going to go into the the install the driver because it's virtually the same as the LC40 um, engraver and then you install the software program that comes with it which is candle uh, candle GRBL um, but anyway I'll uh, I'll just grab the camera and I'll uh, I'll show you that right this is the software this is called candle and um, what it was showing was idle there and this, these are the jog buttons like I'd, on my um, 6090 downstairs my professional one it has a DSP which is a hand controller so you do everything through there but this you can, I can use I use this fire um, and VCAV Pro to do G code um, to do the the design and then you can actually pass it on to this and it'll uh, you can you can use it apparently I haven't tried that yet um, but these are the jog buttons and you'll you'll hear the um, I have to get used to the program because it's slightly different to what I'm used to. Um, there's a home, um, there's your restore origin, safe position, is probe, and there's all uh, you unlock button. Um, but I'll show you the the actual on/off switch. You say power. <laughs> But it doesn't mention anything in there, switch it on. That E stop switch there is if it's manoeuvring and you press that, it stops it. It's an emergency stop, um, which is quite good, really. And then you just operate it again, and then it comes. But I'll, I'll show you it actually working now. So. You can set it to you know 100 steps and this is that is smooth and then of course you have your home position which is that and it'll do that that's it that's home um, and it'll it'll do that because there's a, a east there's a stop there a micro switch end stop and there is on the Z axis up and down and across at that side on the X axis so um, but yeah and if I, if I send it to And you can see when you're hearing that moving you see the center part of that but yeah and of course it has the Z probe which touch off um, I have it on the others but as I say um, I've got to set this up apparently so I will be setting it up and then uh, when I get a chance uh, part um, this is part two video um, there'll be part three of it doing one of the test programs that it's got I haven't run the spindle yet so I shall uh, see what the spindles like uh, we're back I'll just show you where you control the spindle um, there's various things you can do but this is the, the spindle it's a little drop down there um, so you, you click on that and then that's to actuate the spindle this is the spindle speed 
and it goes up to 10,000 so I'll set it at 2000 and see what you think to the noise it's really quiet um, I mean I don't know how good the spindle is um, I don't know how strong it is but I, I know if you upgrade spindle I'm going to go to I think this is a brushed one I will be going to um, uh, an induction motor which is um, brushless probably a, a 300 watt I don't need anything bigger really um, I shall get one of those, you'll probably have to have a separate power pack for it. Um, there is a. I'll just switch this off, I'll just turn it off, I'll tell you. Um, you can see inside there, that's the clamp for it there. Then you can see here, there is a pull out sleeve. You can just see that there's a split in that and there's a sleeve as well so that will probably take you from this size motor to the next size i think i don't she sure whether it's 54 mil i'm not up on that one um but i will be looking for a different upgradable motor um but yeah <sighs> for what's out there of this size 4040 and um, the do Saint do a, a very good um, 4030 but the, what I didn't like about the 4030 was it had here it had like rollers that run in V grooves and I, I'm not a lover of that my 6090 downstairs has an inch underneath that drives both Y axes is um it has a, a an inch ball screw shaft uh lead screw and i mean an inch thick but it's got to be it's all cast machines all cast it's quite it's really heavy um but it's it's a professional one and you can you can see where and it it runs on uh rails yeah just like this um and and this is one at the top one at the bottom um either side and same on your x-axis so it's really i consider really professionally made this for the value for money um and saying smart do have a lot of offers on so i suggest that people uh, thinking of buying one and I'd certainly if you want it in a 4040 this will do most things I'd certainly get this and try it with the spindle you might be okay with engraving that you want but if you want to do a bit more cutting um, and I, there's no reason why this wouldn't do aluminium and or, or brass um, it's that sturdy I mean there's there's nothing moves on it there's no, the bars don't flex there's nothing um, and as I said the options to uh, offline controller when it comes out they're doing one for it and um, A-axis um, yeah we'll see, uh, see what um, materialise in the future but um, I think that's it for now I'll, uh, I'm going to show how to use the probe and then uh, and then that that will conclude the video for this right I'm back at the PC I'm just going to show you how to use the uh, the Z probe um, that's the button for the Z probe it, it comes up Z probe it's connected because it plugs straight into the back so you haven't a problem there but it tells you in the instruction book that you must set the thickness of the or check it the z probe so you you go up to settings service settings and you'll see here control and you'll see probe commands now those you see in that line there i'm 
it was set there at Z12.35 well I've checked mine mine's bang on 12 millimeters so I just took the 35 off and put 12.0 and the 13 is how much it wants to clear so it touches down and then comes back up a millimeter above so it's 12 mil so it gives you that millimeter and and what i'll do is i'll i'll, I'll take you over to the oh, i'll twist it round take it round and i'll show you that working right the z probe is already connected in so you've always got a blue light on now you click the crocodile clip round you put that on top of your work surface and then you go to the button and press Z probe. Just do all that for you. You see it moving down, it moves down rather slowly. You see it come back up and you see another light pop on. Red it's touched off and it moves back up and it's just cleared now by about a millimeter really see, and you can do it um, by a piece of paper and lower it down manually until you get a, and it just starts to drag but this does it precisely so this is what I'm saying with the machine you've got all this how well it's put together the spindle's quiet and I'm no doubt it'll perform up to its limitations but for the the cost of, of this machine I haven't seen anything out there for the price as well made as what this is um, well um, that concludes uh, the video for today um, as I say I hope to be doing a, another video a short video on, on the operation with this spindle um, I have no reason to doubt that the spindle will perform but it has its limitations um, you, as I said earlier you can or they will be bringing out an up upgraded um, motor mount to 67 or 69 mil that isn't out yet they're doing an online controller that isn't out yet um, they're gonna I don't know which um, rotary axis will fit this machine um, I'm not uh, uh, I'm not up on that one at the moment but I'm no doubt that they're bringing one out it'd be better off if they brought a chuck one out so that you could um, you know hold something in the chuck fasten the the um, chuck rotary down to the bed and then you can carve something rotary you can't do that with the rollers it has to be a chuck driven and it has to be secured um, and also I'll see what um, spindles you can actually upgrade to what it is now as I say with that collar that does come out it might be around about 52 54 mil um, but I'll do that in a, a later video but as regards this machine um, I think if you're looking for a 40 30 40 40 roughly that size this to me this is the machine to, to purchase it's well made it performs it's quiet it's smooth it's easy to put together and the cost I think it's round about 600 £650 I think on Amazon I'm not so sure on that but um, Saint Smart I think it's got it on at 549 plus you might have a little bit of tax I don't know but they have offers on so look out for the offers um, you know sign up to Saint Smart that's what I did and, and just see what's available but I just hope the video has helped you um, and helped you probably make uh, make your mind up about the machine and what's available out there for the cost and uh, I can assure you this is well made 
and I will be letting you know in the future about any upgrades that comes out and when they come out so until that time I always say be careful out there take care of yourselves bye for now